what we're going to use are four pictures to create a circle that will be the lampshade. This is 3dp.rocks slash lithophane and this program allows you to make outer curves so when you go into settings and you go to image settings you will not find what we're looking for. If you go into model settings, you'll see a curve value here. And this curve value goes from 360, a completed circle, to zero, a flat plane. It'll be 90 degrees. And we'll keep this size will be whatever size of the picture is longest. So if it's width, or height it'll keep that to 100 millimeters and it just so happens the lampshade needs to be 100 millimeters tall so we're going to keep it 100 millimeters so this image will be 100 millimeters long but not necessarily 100 mil millimeters tall because it's not a square image right so if we did four of these we won't know what the actual circumference was and we won't know what the end resulting diameter will be right so if we have an image that is square then we know it'll be 100 by 100 four of those together will be a circumference of 400 which when we deduce by math we can determine the diameter right which will be roughly oh I don't know what it was we can look at we can do this though right the Google we wanted it about a hundred and thirty millimeter diameter so if we put in 65 millimeter radius it gives us 408 millimeters so I'll just step it down till we get that where we want it to be so if we keep all our images square, right, and we have 100 high with a circumference of about 100 around, we should get into the ballpark of this 63.6 .6 radius, which gives us a diameter of 127, which is in the ballpark of where we wanted that to be. So with that said, we have to find pictures or resize pictures that are the same dimensions. So you can see over here that um, I have previously went through, found photos that I've taken over the years, and I've then resized them to be 453 by 453. So this number doesn't really matter how big it is 453 500 whatever as long as the width and the height are the same so when it scales it scales in the same manner then we know that all four of these when put together will composite 25 percent of the circle we'll go into GIMP this is just kind of a open source version of Photoshop so when we go into GIMP, we can add any picture we want. And then when we go to canvas size, we can select what we want. So the height is 453 from the image. So I'll go a width of 453 and I'll resize. And then you can adjust this to where you want. So let's say I want this portion right here to compose my lithophane to get this date out of there. So then I hit resize. So now we're left with a 453 by 453 image. So I can go down, export as. All these that would be included in the lithophane are resized to 453. We're gonna go into 3DP rocks and we'll find the photo we just resized. Okay, and then we'll go into image settings and make it positive image. If you do the negative image, um, 
things that would normally appear white in the photo turn black. And sometimes that looks really good, but that's not what we're after with this one. So then this will be 100 tall by whatever on the X plane because it doesn't incorporate the Y in that estimate, right? So the actual footprint of this file will be this large and doesn't necessarily include the Y direction. So we'll download this. So all of these photos and their subsequent STL file have been processed in the same way through 3D P rocks and they all have a 90 degree curve so we'll have Simplify 3D combine all four of these into a circle for us and you can do that by just overlapping so what we're gonna try and do here is move two of these this one needs to be, obviously needs to be turned around right the Z so we'll have this one be on this side this one will have do a 270 rotation yep so this will be this way and then this one would be 180 rotation okay so now we have them all orientated the way we want on the build plate so now it's just a matter of linking these together, which Simplify 3D will do for us. So you just have to get them to overlap slightly. You know, take your time with this. So now that looks pretty good. So what we're going to see is we'll prepare to print and it may take a while because these are larger files so what we have to look for is any discrepancies this should all be one large piece right and for some reason I have supports on like a dummy but you can see that this is all considered one layer or one large piece There's no breaks in between transitions between each lithophane. So like right here is the edge of one, but this is continuing to print as one. Now you have to watch out. Sometimes if you don't overlap these enough, or if your image was a different size, when you try to match these together, they won't overlap enough and there will be a gap here. If that's the case, you need to go back in and just scale up one of you know each side so two of these panes you scale this one up just one millimeter so it doesn't distort the image and then you scale up this one one millimeter so it doesn't distort the image and then they'll overlap and simplify 3d will think it's all one large portion and it'll print in one large part but let's not generate support this time. How about that? So at this point, I'm pretty good with just printing it. So we're about 61% into this thing. You can see there's some uh, curling going on there. So I'm hoping she stays up, but... So I designed the top cover for it as well. It'll be a two-piece. Um, I didn't really feel like doing complex curves and stuff on it. I'm still working out how to do that, so... Hopefully everything still works out. Looking good so far. So it finished a little over 12 hours. Um, it's the correct dimension high. Um, and it looks pretty good. The only problem is, is when I print really long prints with this, or not long, I guess, um, really complex, very large prints, so over 50 megabytes for the g-code the printer just seems to stop towards the last movement and not home and i don't know why but anyway it left a little bit of a a burn scar there at the top but everything's level and it did start to warp off the bed a little but the the main body of the 
litho tube, as it were, stayed down. So everything looks square and the brim comes off pretty easy. So just in Tinkercad here for the top of the floor lamp. Um, it's a simple free CAD software. Um, it is made available by Autodesk, so it's still the same people that produce Fusion 360 and stuff. This is just a little bit easier visually. If you're a visual type person, Tinkercad's a little easier to use. Um, but so I have the diameter here at 134. So this will be the top of our lamp. And I'll dissect it a little bit for what I did here. So this is just a cylinder that I've flattened down to five millimeters. And I've added a bevel so it rounds off here at the edge and then that's up five millimeters so then below that at one millimeter high I have a uh, a whole square so a square that is a hole in Tinkercad's universe that's one millimeter high that spans across this whole circle so then when they group together it'll cut off the bottom so then we're left with four millimeter high um, extruded cylinder here as the base of our mounting bracket. And then I have on the inside, this is just a cylinder, a hole that goes all the way through. So that hole will be left there. The diameter of this is based off of my lamp. So where the socket for the light fits in is, you know, about 36 36 millimeters about so I just gave it a tolerance of 0.2 millimeters and then there's a little lip that helps it recess into the lamp so then that's just an additional cylinder okay then we group them all together and that's what we're left with so then we just throw that in the simplify 3d and print it off so here's the top plate, and I'm really actually surprised that it's stuck down. So I think the settings I had on it were pretty good. I was actually worried about this kind of warping up again, but looks good. So now I'm going to try and get it off of there. Oh, oh, oh. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Flat, no warpage. Four mil part. I'm actually surprised. Alright, let's put it together. <laughs> 